Definitely. Everyone needs to keep that water bottle handy. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, you'll need two things this week. The water bottle and the umbrella. Also. Yes, yeah. I Very learned my lesson <laughs> yesterday. Keep yes. the rain jacket or umbrella in, in your the car. car. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I walked into Publix yesterday and I had my raincoat and so many people did it. And I was like, man, y'all must have not watched me this morning. I know it. Wanye, you're sitting right there. You didn't even have your raincoat with you. I know. And I heard you say, like, <laughs> make sure you have your raincoat. But I can tell you what's in that car this morning. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Learned your lesson yesterday. Speaking of rain, we've had plenty of it so far this month, and that's helped us stay fairly mild for the month of July. We have yet to have any kind of mid to upper 90s yet. We've picked up close to four inches of rain so far. This is at the Macon Airport. Some spots have definitely picked up more than this so far this month, and that means we are in just shy of two inches of a surplus of rain. Always good news for the month of July. We've talked about it a lot recently. We have those longer days, more sunshine, so that just ultimately increases the evaporation rate. You need more rain this time of year, and I believe a lot of farmers, this is the time they're growing everything for the fall, so you definitely need the rain, and we have had no lack of it. Yesterday, of course, helped bring us that total. Picked up just over a quarter of an inch of rain in Macon. Here's what we talk about when we say locally heavy amounts. Hawkinsville yesterday down in Pulaski County picked up over an inch of rain, but the general consensus yesterday was typically between around a tenth of an inch to around a quarter of an inch of rain, but clearly there were some locally heavy amounts and then some spots didn't pick up quite as much. Some spots just picked up enough to be considered measurable rainfall like up in Sandersville. Now today we're going to do it all over again, except I don't think we're going to be quite as active, but we do have the same setup. We have what we call the Azores or B Bermuda High that is out in the Atlantic Ocean. It's a semi-permanent high pressure system. It steers tropical systems a lot, but what it's doing for us is keeping us open for business for scattered showers and storms as we pull in a lot of Gulf and Atlantic moisture, leaving us hot, humid, and very unsettled. Any kind of severe threat is going to stay to our north along this very large weather system that is draped across parts of the Midwest and the Northeast today. We will simply be looking at your general run of the mill showers and thunderstorms for today. However, very much like yesterday, just simply because we'll have a lot of heat, a lot of moisture. You put those two things together. We could have a stronger storm or two as we head through the afternoon today. So as we go through uh, the afternoon hours, we could maybe have a stray shower for the morning, but primarily over the next few days, we'll be looking ahead for most of our activity in the afternoon and evening. Maybe some heavier downpours, some gusty wind, of course, frequent lightning also possible, and any storms that gain a little extra strength through the day today. Tomorrow morning, we should be mainly quiet, and then showers and storms will bubble up. Maybe a few sea breeze coastal showers and storms over the next couple of days will be possible carrying those heavier downpours as well. Clearly, there's a lot of moisture out in the Atlantic, and all that will get carried in to our forecast in those showers and thunderstorms. Thursday, we do it all over again. Now, as we go into the start of next week, that's maybe when we could start to look ahead to a slight pattern change and get out of this boring summertime pattern. Now, as we head into the weekend, that area of high pressure will start to to make one last push to stay very strong and we could be a little bit drier over the weekend, but that will change as a cold front starts to push into parts of the southeast come the start of next week and ultimately ramp up our rain chances again. So we are looking ahead to another half an inch to over an inch of rain in some spots of those locally heavy amounts possible as we go through the next seven days. Nothing short of summer like temperatures in the low 90s. It will feel warmer though with that humidity. Showers and storms will be possible every day, primarily for the afternoon and evening.